McGinn. And I'm Jay and Jeff Co. We went to Southern Avenue in Southeast D.C. to report on a home invasion. Several people held hostage overnight. Well, the story took an abrupt turn when our team of Bruce Johnson and photographer Danielle Gill were attacked by a woman from inside the home. Bruce joins us now on set. And Bruce, this is not what you expect when you go out to your regular. More than 35 story. years, first time I've been punched on the job <laughs> outside of the newsroom. We were amazed. Uh, then both of us were struck by a single punch. But first, before we get to that, let's get to the story that took us to the 4200 block of Southern Avenue in Southeast. D.C. police say that at about 2 o'clock this morning, three people arrived at a residence and were met by four gunmen as they opened the door. Inside, five people already being held hostage. Police are not saying what, if anything, was taken, but there were physical assaults and a male inside the house, according to police, was sexually assaulted. Fast uh, forward here. You're looking at a woman who's in the window. She's uh, yelling at Danielle Gill and, and uh, myself. We're standing out on the sidewalk. She's telling us to get away. And then for some strange reason, the woman comes out of the house. And let's take a look at what happens after that. I actually leave, and I'm not, I'm not going to say it again. Bye. 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 Stop Bye. I'm, I'm telling you, goodbye. Miss, we're on a podcast. I don't care. Goodbye. I'm going to tell you your next. I'm telling you, bye. I'm going to pop out you. I will clap you. I will knock this camera. I'm. No, no, no. Don't. You can't do it, please. You can't. Don't. Don't do that. Don't touch me. Please, don't. Touch me. I got that. I got that. I got that. I've got her. I got her. I've got her. Don't record my house. I'm gonna knock the out you. Goodbye. I got it. I got it. We're Goodbye. gone. We're gone. Goodbye. We're gone. We're gonna assume the people passing along Southern Avenue must have seen what was happening. Of course, they saw what was happening. They called police. Police were arriving as we were leaving. Don't know who the young woman was in that video. It's possible, just possible, she could have been one of those people held hostage at gunpoint inside the house. Now, I talked to neighbors before that attack. They say the family, a man and woman, and some siblings had not lived there very long, maybe a few months. A guy who says he cut their grass says they were good people. Anybody know who this woman was that you talked to? And, 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 and I know that they're going to press charges against her. Police are going to uh, press charges. We're not going to file charges. Danielle and I talked. Uh, number one, we don't know what that woman had gone through before exactly. we arrived. If she had been held hostage, obviously she's under a lot of stress. She had yelled from that w window several times. We had knocked on the door, get away, get away. So obviously this woman's under a lot of stress. Neither one of us was injured by that punch or, or we weren't hit by the mace. We're not filing charges. Police are watching the tape. They say they may have to take some kind of action. And it was kind of, you know, when we were looking at the video, obviously there were moments when the camera uh, was moving and it was off. So she actually did land a couple of punches on you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow.